I'm sure a lot of you have seen this, um, and it's just awful, um, and, and it really represents what exactly is going on within Lucasfilm and Disney Star Wars fandom, which I've been covering as of late about what Disney has done to Star Wars fandom. Star Wars fandom is, is nothing to do with Star Wars anymore. Uh, it has to do with trashing... Uh, the people that built Star Wars, that have honored Star Wars. It has to do with trashing their legacy, their characters, and uh, just pouncing on them when they're in a, an emotional state. These people are disgusting. They're horrible human beings. They're terrible people, and Disney continues to pander to them with Star Wars. This is the people they want involved with Star Wars. The social justice crowd, the people that put on a mask on social media and present themselves as a virtuous person, but in reality, they're really bad people. And it doesn't take much for you to find that out. But uh, this is Tim Rose, uh, Data Racer 117. Go give Data Racer a follow. Great, great account. Does a great job exposing a lot of the nonsense going on in the entertainment industry. Data Racer here says, uh, Admiral Akbar, costume actor, was publicly humili humiliated by Ryan Johnson on his last day of filming of The Last Jedi. Tim Rose cried after 30 years of his life was turned into a joke. I had to come down to the camera. And I thought, oh, well, maybe they're going to say... Thank you for being one of the heritage characters and giving 30 years and all that, and you know, being all that. But what they did was they, they gave me a Millennium Falcon sign that had the day and the date on it, a scene number. And they said, can you look at the camera and just say, it's a wrap, because that would be really funny. It's a wrap! <laughs> I was actually in tears in the suit because I really? thought after everything, after hoping there'd be something, after knowing there wasn't going to be anything else, Akbar's final moment before he went into the box was just a big joke about it's a wrap. I did disappeared down the back and couldn't come out for a good 30 minutes after that, yeah. You know, I mean, I I'm not going to go through all these tweets, um, you know, uh, because I, I, I don't know if people, I don't know what the, I honestly don't know the, the, the rules on going through tweets from people and showing their names. So I'm not going to, I got data racers. I got his permission a while back to show his tweets. Um, you know, he says sequel trilogy fans are now mocking Admiral Akbar and Tim Rose saying he's a crying baby and Akbar is just a meme. Lucas, Lucasfilm's new fan base does nothing but disrespect the original actors and the characters now. 100% accurate again, man. Um, they don't... They don't even understand <laughs> that Admiral Akbar is... And we all know the meme, which is funny, and we've all enjoyed that meme, but Admiral Akbar is much more than the meme. Um, clearly, these people haven't watched uh, The Clone Wars. I don't even think they've watched the original trilogy. They probably only know him as a meme because they've never been Star Wars fans. And... You know, like, we care about this universe, we care about these characters, and we want to see them honored in the right way. And when they aren't, we take that seriously, and we take some uh, exception with these decisions. And Admiral Akbar uh, has been, you know, disrespected on, on an entirely different level. I can't remember um, if I have the clip, but where they shut down uh, the, uh, the voice actor for Admiral Akbar at Star Wars Celebration when he was criticizing Holdo and everything like that. Uh, and they shut him down. They was like, oh, no, we can't talk about that. We can't, we can't criticize Disney Star Wars. It, it's such an amazing environment they have. They're so scared of criticism. They're so scared of anybody to actually talk bad about this universe and this company. Well, it's horrible, and it needs to be called out, and it's crumbling apart right now. So many things, the infrastructure that you have tried to create to protect your little sequel trilogy is completely falling apart because you have no infrastructure. You've built it on nothing but garbage and BS, and it's starting to crumble. And the people that actually would have held it together if you would have, you know, catered to them, the actual Star Wars fans, they're the ones, they're the ones that are exposing this stuff to people like Data Racer, for instance. They're the ones that's exposing this. Because we're tired of being treated like Lucasfilm treats us. And that starts at the top with Kathleen Kennedy and Ryan Johnson. And to a lesser degree, J.J. Abrams. And we're just tired of it, man. 
And uh, Tim Rose, I would just like to say, you know, sir, I appreciate everything you've done for Star Wars. I appreciate the time and the effort and the passion you have put in to this character, to this story, to this unbelievable universe that George Lucas created for us. And uh, there are many, many more people that support you than the uh, than the the people that are taking shots at you. Uh, Twitter is not real life. Twitter is not uh, representative of the real world. It is a very, very small minority of people that group together and make themselves feel more important than they really are. But in reality, they just aren't that important. And the reason that they go to social media to try to pretend to be important people is because they are absolutely pathetic losers in their real life. And so they love to project and act tough and find people to follow them with their hashtags and their virtue signaling because they are hiding behind their own insecurities. Uh, so Tim Rose, the Star Wars community, the real Star Wars community respects you. We appreciate you and we thank you for everything you have done for Star Wars. You guys have a great day. Thank you very much for checking out this video and we will talk to you later.